it's Christy and today's the day that I packed uh, the big big plush that were in my china hutch. I packed Fritz and I also packed another one that I'm going to show you down here but before I tell you uh, what's in this box I just wanted to mention I have been packing both plastic and cardboard shoe boxes and the follow your box tracking label a lot of people are using the sticky ones that's fine but if you're doing the printout ones like i am i recommend the super hold because really it's when i was using just the regular scotch tape it was peeling off so i'm gonna go back my i had my husband i looked it up i had my husband find the super hold tape at walmart and it works a lot better on the plastic boxes. So just a tip, if you're having trouble getting your um, labels to stick on the plastic, use the super hold tape. Okay, so here is a fun box to open with a big plush. I loved how it turned out. I was thinking, I hope you don't laugh at me. When I was packing these three shoe boxes this morning, I, just thought to myself, I could do this professionally. I just love it so much. And then I thought I kind of do all year round work on these boxes. So here we are, I'll open it up. And this is the disclaimer. I'm including these in all my boxes. You can print them out on blessingsinthesshoebox.com. It says basically that you don't have anything that's not allowed in this shoe box and you know what you were doing and there's no money. I think that's the main thing they're, they're looking for when I was at the processing center is one time a lady took out everything from the shoe box and the envelope with the check is at, was at the bottom. So if you're including a check, make sure you put it up on top and that'll help the processing center a lot. Okay, so look at this little cute, cute bear, all soft and cuddly and wrapped in a blanket and this looks like a little bow tie here i just placed it there but it's a separate um hair bow so i'm going to take her out this little plush bear and she has um been wrapped in a blanket one of the ones that michelle made she is more soft than i could describe very cute i love her little raspberry color ears and she's all cuddled up with a bow. So that saves a little bit of space. If you um, squeeze in uh, the ribbon around your plush, that does help with space. She has this shake, shaky rattle that Michelle made, a spoon. I'm gonna try to go quickly. This is a really beautiful tote that really matches, so cute that Michelle made and she has these puzzle turtles, two of them in her box. Wood, I love those long lasting toys. They can be passed down or passed to friends. She has, and I know she's gonna put this on right away, a beautiful hairband that was made by Michelle's friend. Pink comb. Her mustache whistle. She has a pair of bike shorts and two pair of underwear all rolled up. She has another little clip bow and she has a velvet scrunchie, a white one. I love those. They can be worn in the hair or on a wrist. She has a white pair of socks and she has one of those two and a half inch squeezy balls that looks like a beach ball. Bright colors, I love that in this box. She has a foldable Frisbee and she has, this was a donation, a nice backpack, string backpack from Answers in Genesis. It's made out of that, um, it's kind of a, I don't know, a polyester cloth but it seems very, very sturdy. So I'm happy to have that extra bag in here. She has a wooden car and two toothbrushes down in the back here. Oh, here's our note. 
I have a postcard with a note on one side and then I have our picture in a separate bag. I mean a separate picture and postcard and it's all in the plastic bag. She has the composition book, crayons, 24 crayons. She has a pencil pouch and it has a calculator in here and I decided to leave it because I was hoping some family member might be able to use it. She has stickers and scissors and 10 pencils and she has a whole set of colored pencils in here. So it's a nice full pencil pouch. She has her God Loves You coloring book that I printed from blessingsinashoebox.com under the printables. She has this purple washcloth and she has the special lovey that Michelle made. It's one of the last ones that I was saving for these special big plush. So again, I want to reiterate that if you're packing a big plush, don't be don't be afraid of it. If it if it looks like it might not fit in the shoebox, you can squeeze it down using a blanket. And you can also, if, if you watch a couple of videos ago, I think six videos ago, I made a video about packing a large plush and I'm following my own directions. You um, fill the flat things in, put the large plush in and pack with little gems around. And that really is amazing how much you can get in. That's what I got in uh, how I did this one. And I really think it's super full, even though it's a big plush. So thank you for watching. God bless you and bye for now.